Hey, uh, today I'd like to talk to you about your service offering. A service offering is the combination of the stack of services that you offer. I call these offers versus offering. I see it as the menu of services that you have and an offer is a specific item that you have on your service menu, like a recipe uh, in a menu book, for instance. Good metaphor here. And I wanted to talk to you about this because I've been doing... Um, uh, more work than usual with clients these days on helping them build their services for their professional services firm. Uh, B2B experts uh, always wonder what service they should put in front of clients. Should they be more productized? Should they be more custom? There's a lot of conversation on this. And here is a visual framework uh, that I've used with my client. Can you see it here on camera, right? It's the visual framework of a bridge. It's the metaphor of a bridge. This card, by the way, comes from a deck of card called Visual Frameworks by my colleague, uh, Dave Gray. Uh, I'll put the link to this uh, deck of card here. That's the box, you, know, you see the Dave Gray Visual Frameworks. And uh, that frameworks really help my clients uh, get into the right mindset, the right process, and looking at their services, not just as things that they wanted to buy and that then therefore they had to make people also want to buy, but more as services that uh, people really want to buy from the get-go. So why do I say this? If you have, if you use the, the framework of the bridge to think about your service offering, you will start realizing that at a high level, what you do in your business is that you take someone from a point A to a point B, a state of uh, chaos, maybe if it's really bad, but maybe someone who has questions or, or, or need or needs help, needs the assistance. If you're a consultant, maybe there's a big problem they've been trying to solve for a long time, a very, very costly problem. And you take them from the situation and your goal as an expert is to guide them through the course of a project to the other, um, the other part of the picture here. Maybe that's the other side of the river or the other side of the canyon. I've used that metaphor before. And you've got many ways to do that. Uh, you can think of many services. In fact, here we have the metaphor of a tangible bridge. Maybe this bridge is made of wood, concrete, steel, but maybe the bridge that you need to create with them is an air bridge. You need to fly them over with an airplane or hot air balloon, or, or, or maybe it's a sling, or maybe, maybe you should bridge that gap by actually walking them down, down the canyon and, and, and several miles out and then coming back the other way of the canyon. So uh, I, with this metaphor, what I'm trying to communicate here is that you have so many ways you can help a client. So start mapping out what is the place where typically your ideal clients want to be. So for MetaHelm, I'll give you my example because I don't know yours unless you want to share it with me here in the comments or, or, or just shoot me an email. But for MetaHelm, I take my clients from a place where their business is just launching or, or they're trying to reinvent it or they're trying to reimagine it. Or maybe maybe they've got it right, but growth is a little bit unstable. So it's, it's unsure if it's going to continue to grow. I, I take them from that place of uncertainty, um, a place also uh, typically where they have so many options. It's just overwhelming what they could do to, speak, to fix their situation. They could do marketing, they could do productivity, they could do technology, they could do so many things, implement so many things around, the, uh, around their business. There are constellations, you know, a galaxy of options. I take them from this place to a place where they gain focus and therefore they make traction so that they can build a business that not only is viable, viable not only successful, but also a business that they love. So this is for me here in the visual framework, this is where uh, I take I, I meet my clients and where I take them to. Okay, so as you can see here, also in this picture, um, the bridge is made of five blocks. In fact, in this, in this photo, and typically it's interesting because this was not made necessarily to think about a bridge for services, but typically five blocks feels about right for uh, for a service offering, and don't necessarily try from the get-go to have five right away, but 
start with the first one. But just to give you an idea of what I'm seeing out there is like five services is for a practice within the big firm or for a small to mid-sized firm, you know, one to $10 million. Or even if you are a solopreneur and you're running your shop on your own, five fundamental key, well-described, well-packaged services are usually going to be a really, really, you know, sweet spot here. But two to three is already great. One is what I would recommend you start with, of course. So think about this, like what are going to be potentially in the journey of your clients, the, the simple blocks that you hear them wanting to buy from you all the time, not the, not the services that you want to sell, just that, but what are the things that they tell you that they're ready to buy, that they've got appetite, that they know that they probably bought before, they have a budget for it, it's not completely unknown to them, it's something that they understand. See, there, there is there is um, there's a great mistake, a great trap that I see all the time is the um, the tendency that we have as experts to create services that we understand, but that others don't understand. We give them fancy names. We give them, you know, names that are a little bit is esoteric because they are meaningful to us, but they are not really meaningful to our clients. So we're we're not we're not doing this in service of our clients. We're doing this in service of our own. Uh, I would say, you know, uh, confidence uh, to start with. So start by laying out a small series of simple services that people can buy off the shelf that they can really understand quickly. And maybe it's a small step. It's a small budget in comparison to what they're going to spend over time with you. And then go from there. And really, um, there's no shame in thinking a lot more simpler, a, a lot more simple, a lot more uh, accessible for people. And this is also a recommendation that I give uh, and sometimes particularly for larger firms where everything is so complicated, everything has to be customized because we want to cater to all possibilities and all opportunities. And if we if we think like that, we actually cater to no one. We're all things to no one, right? So I would rather see you build a very solid, good, simple, usable bridge for a very narrow set of people that really enjoy it and can talk about the benefits of this metaphoric bridge that you're building with your services. So I hope this resonates with you as you're either embarking on your journey for entrepreneurship or you've already been an entrepreneur for many years or you, and you're, you're thinking, hmm, maybe I need to evolve my, my, my services here today and I need, to, I need to change the way this works. Um, think about this very simple visual framework. Build the bridge that your clients really, really want to take instead of making your clients want to take the bridge. I hope this makes sense. As always, I welcome your comments, questions, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. A bientôt.